in my in my existence in my life as a young uh, zealous Christian for many years and a, and a pastor and, and growing up within the, that sort of uh, a system I was often persuaded that I was right I always felt like I was right right up until I realized that I wasn't and I would get into continual arguments, debates and arguments with almost everyone. And any time there was an opportunity for me to debate with somebody, I grabbed a hold of it. And I didn't lose very many debates because I knew the scripture so well. Well, there's, it reminded me because recently, a, a handful of weeks ago, someone once, someone said, well, Silas is always, he hasn't actually had, this person hasn't had a serious conversation with me in quite some time. And they said, um, well, Silas always feels like he's right, so he doesn't. It's pointless to have a conversation with him. And being many, many years since we've actually had a serious conversation, and it reminded me of the story. Because in the process of awakening and realizing who you are, the need to be right fades away. The more you realize who you are, the more the need to be right vanishes there was a, a young zealous disciple who went into town he was tasked with the with the with going into town and buying some groceries buying some bread for uh, for himself and the other the other disciples it was like a, a, a seminary like a monastery type situation and so he was tasked with going into town to buy some some food he went into town and uh, upon entering into the the grocery store he ran into uh, a man that he had known in his past life. This man was a Christian. And so they began to discuss heaven. What a great conversation that was, right? And they began to discuss heaven, which the discussion of heaven quickly turned into also a discussion of hell. And so the Christian said, well, what do you think about hell? And the zealous, this young zealous disciple said, well, I don't believe in hell. And he said, so you don't believe in hell? So you don't believe in good and evil, right and wrong? The young, zealous disciple said, no, this, this, the, the, the teachings of hell and the teachings of good and evil, right and wrong, they're false teachings, they're wrong. They entered into this large argument, going back and forth and quoting scripture and one, one sharing his life stories and, and the scriptures and the various things. Shortly after the argument began, the young, zealous student's teacher walks by. And overhearing the argument, he just smirks and continues to walk. The student says, teacher, 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 come here. You need to tell this Christian what you've been teaching us. He has been saying that there is right and wrong, and I've been telling him that there is no right and wrong. The master, the teacher, smiled, looked at the student, and said, if you really believe you're right, then there is no argument. You see, the revelation, the realization of who we are destroys, completely annihilates our feelings of having to be right. All of a sudden now, all of our desires to be right and all of our feelings uh, that we have to have things figured out and the information has to make sense, all of those things vanish in the realization of who we truly are. And so that scripture, the truth sets you free, really, it really does the truth of who you are really does set you free from who you think you are and from the one that you that you think is right who am i what is my purpose is there more to life than this Extasis Institute is relaunching this fall, providing students with the opportunity to explore the depths of who they truly are. An in-person or online institute where people of all backgrounds come to discover truth beyond any religion or philosophy. Awaken with us to your true divine purpose, being. See your vastness that you are both nothing and everything, the Christ. Realize that you are life itself, one with God, one with all things. We offer three paths of study with Silas Valentine, a mystic teacher and mentor 
who for the past 20 years has been guiding students into their awakening. Choose from one of two general studies paths, or if you really desire to dive deep, participate in the mentorship path where you will receive one-on-one -on -one guidance and mentoring from Silas, as well as weekly classes. To find out more information on how you can participate, go to ecstasisinstitute.org. Your awakening is waiting.